thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I am taking us on the topic of from learning to leadership. I am Dr. Joshua Kolawale. I'm a Lean Agile Transformational Leadership Expert. You know I'm a Global Transformational Leadership Trainer. And it's always my delight to come to explain concepts that would move us from being a socialized mind to being a transforming mind. I want us to go through the process, the well-defined processes of going through being an evolving mind to scaling to becoming a transforming mind. That is my passion. That is my goal. I want you to get to a realm of my Majority, where your capabilities will produce unique value and you will become unique in your environment and then be able to drive social impact both directly and indirectly within whatever system you're operating with. And it will be a genuine one because it will start from within you and then it will radiate externally. You will be able to build teams, build family, build communities and even be build armies of transforming minds that would be able to go ahead and also transform other systems. So please let us stay with me. I need you to understand about the concept of movement from learning to leadership because this is a crucial connection that a lot of people are not able to link together. Hence, what they do is that they try to read, they try to study, they try to learn just to qualify for a profession, a, a, a certification, an exam. Whereas the goal of learning is actually to drive transformation. Hence, the proponent of transformational learning. They speak to a learning that can be connected to a revelatory dimension in you. Where you are able to connect your identity with what you're learning. And then it helps you to be able to build transformational results. And that is the goal, isn't it? So why not join me? So this quote, lifelong learning is an attribute of a living mind. We need to first establish that. If you are alive life, you will be given to learning. If you are not living, you will most likely, in fact, you will show disdain for deep learning. And I intentionally mention deep learning because a lot of people love to learn superficially. We just want to understand things from, from a surface level. We're not ready to, deep, to do a deep dive into how the ecosystem interconnects or interdepends on each other. And this is the difference between those who generate transformational results and those who do not. So, transformational learning opens your mind up to critical thinking, deep reflections, sincere evaluations, and it will direct you on the kind of leadership collaborations you need to go. This is the summary of everything I want to say in this code. But you need to stay with me to understand how everything connects with themselves. Learning is a lifelong process with cumulative impact. We need to first establish that. You need to know that this is a lifelong process. I need you to settle it in your mind that learning is a lifelong process, either in a structured learning environment, that's where you have the programs well defined find as modules, courses, and things are already predefined based on timing with which you should complete them, or in a non-structured learning process where you're the one who is pacing yourself, you're internally motivated enough to set some learning target for yourself, or even if it's the focused and the diffused form of learning, where you just get to learn things at ease within how you do things. You know, I love the diffused learning because it helps to break that reflection. It, 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 it's like the Eureka moment that helps you to connect everything you have learned during the focus learning model or module and then you bring them into gentle reflection. How about those learnings that happen? Those understanding that comes to you when that shower water comes upon your head? How about those learnings that happen when you're alone walking in on a trail? And your light just struck into your mind. And you're able to connect two things together. And you're like, wow, this is solid. So those are the kind of learnings that I want you to integrate with themselves so that you can generate transformational results. Learning is the assimilation of knowledge, of skills, and of experiences. I just tried to make an eye-level summary of what I'm talking about. But please, note this. Transformational learning is associated with sound judgment. Transformational learning is associated with sound judgment. You will be able to improve the quality of the choices, quality of your priorities, 
quality of your mind capacity, quality of the kind of results you generate. In fact, the quality of the desires you will embrace would increase sharply once you improve the kind of transformation in your learning process and the learning outcomes that you are embracing. Um, I, I just want you to see these three quotes from three great guys. The first one, Confucius, says, learning without thinking is useless, and thinking without learning is dangerous. I need you to get this clearly. There's no way you will be a learner without this thought process is what sets you apart from a general learner. So as a student in the school, I am not only reading with the focus of just excelling in an exam. I sit down, I meditate on those stuff. I try to see how I can connect or make meaningful connection between what I'm learning with my authentic life experiences. And I want to connect the problems I am having in my life to a research question which I keep brooding upon and that enables my learning and drives the curiosity for me to start looking for solution for that thing. Haven't you wondered how the Wright brothers brought about massive objects to fly in the hair? It, it was butter from questions. They kept asking the questions. The question, can things fly? And of course, many would shut them down. Many would also shut you down if you ask questions outside of the scope of things that are common around you. But you must keep asking those questions because those questions are crucial to learning and very soon you would understand more there is no end to education it is not that you read a book pass an examination and finish with education that is not the goal of learning and life the whole of life from the moment you're born to the moment you die is a process of learning can you embrace that that the moment of your life is a process of learning now i will shock you with something this is a graph that i extracted from the back end of my youtube channel and i've also researched all around this graphical pattern is similar to so many other channels and so many other learning platforms have you noticed that between the age of 18 and 24 i, I didn't get the ages be before 18 i probably would have gotten something else but you can see about 10 to 11 percent of people are actually real-time active self-motivated learners and uh, by the time we move to between 25 and 34 years you saw that the percentage when they a little bit off for male and female to about 15 percent and look it declined back to 10 and it kept going down throughout life which means at the end of life those people that are actually truly active learners all through their life are about four percent isn't this scary and those are the four percent that makes a lot of difference in their leadership what happens to people from this age People graduate out of school, people get into the real world, the world knocks them down. Instead of them to return back to the place of learning, they forget that the way they can become leaders and plan and think ahead of their situation is actually by returning back to the books, to learning, to self-motivation, to seminars, to conferences, to training schools. These are ways where you can learn and then you go and do diffuse learning yourself. According to the Shuari concept, you move from how you learn from pattern from your leader to building your own model gradually as you keep developing and by the time you get to the shoe re the re part means you will now start incorporating building fine-tuning your own unique processes but a lot of people do not wait what they simply do is that their mind dies after this age generally and this is not what you want this is not who you want to become because you want to be transformational in nature you want to be transformational and because of that you want your learning to be lifelong anyone who stops learning is old whether at 20 or 80 anyone who keeps learning stays young the greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young the greatest thing in life is to keep learning however you need not only understand how to learn but you must be able to connect the learning uh, to your real life uh, scenario so I, I i would also i am I'm, I'm, uh, let me exit the board and so if you look at this from learning to leadership i need you to get this point and that's why i made it in three uh, stages the first level of learning is where the teacher is the one driving the learning process at that point i would liken you to someone in the shallow waters 
where you're still learning the superficial stuff, the surface ideas. They're still giving you all what the theory says and all those things. At that point, the goal for you is just to qualify by learning the theory. At that point, the basics, the best that level of learning can do to you is to rank you. You're the first in the class. You're the second in the class. And at that point, the goal of the teacher is that when they ask you a question, you must focus on getting them the right answer. Unfortunately, questions are superior to answers. But in this kind of learning, it is the teacher who thinks about the question. The learner only comes to provide the right answers to those questions. You will soon understand how I will transpose that. In the second middle stage of learning, where you're already evolving, where you are now improvement driven, you're now given to some realm of thinking uh, with the learning, you start embracing a formative kind of evaluation. You, you start embracing a kind of teacher and peer driven. At that point, you're already yielding beyond just teacher driven. You're improvement driven, you're evolving, and then you're gradually collaborating with your peers to understand more. You're asking questions in team meetings, you're trying to get more realities, you're going for little trainings, trying to open up from superficial to deep. However, the learning that will make you to become a leader, that kind of learning is the one we found in the third realm. So you're coming from here and you're driving down this way. As you're driving down this way, the first thing is you are assessing yourself daily. You are assessing yourself weekly. What have I learned? What have I done? How am I going to improve to become better? This is a form of responsibility learning, which is driven by you as the learner and or the learners in your environment and your peers. Now, why did I call it a deep form of learning? It's a deep form of learning because that is where you in connect with the interdependencies, interconnectedness of the stuff you're learning. Let's say... Okay, we once knew that Hooke's law states that uh, provided the elasticity limit is not exceeded. But at a point, someone sat down and thought deeply and said something is wrong about this elastic limit. Because for other materials, they are be start becoming deformed before they get to that point. Someone thought deeper and changed the statement to provided the proportionality limit is not exceeded. It must have come from some depth of thinking. What I'm saying is by, by the time you become a leader, you sit down and reevaluate everything you have assumed, everything you have accepted the way they are, and then you redefine it based on your new world experience, your reality. And that's what makes differentiate leaders. And that is where you're be, you are able to bring innovation into leadership. I need you to uh, stay on this point, please, and, and get focused. Uh, on this, you're actually making some leadership collaboration. What's the difference between the collaboration here and the collaboration here? The collaboration here is more between your peers. The collaboration here is more amongst leaders who are thinking on how to solve a problem in that field. Once you move your knowledge to a point where you're ready to solve problems in an authentic way, in your environment, applying those things to your unique world experiences, you are fast becoming a leader. And that is the goal of learning that is transformational. That's the goal of this talk. And so at, at that point, you will focus on asking the right questions. You will focus on system thinking. You will focus on understanding the dynamics of time. You will focus on uh, understanding the dynamics of all stakeholders. You will focus on the dynamics of causation, causation and association to any issue. You will focus on strategic thinking and how everything you're doing will generate transformational impact. Why strategic thinking? Because you're not only solving problems for today. You're not only training the younger mind for today. We're also training them for the future. Was it John Dewey that says, if the teachers of today decide to still keep teaching the students of today with the old methodology, then that means they are short-circuiting them from the advantage of a modern world, of a future world. I don't have to paraphrase that. So, with, with this, I, I hope you, you got the whole idea of transitioning from learning, which is just the superficial knowledge, to building things up to the point where the learning becomes the responsibility of the learner, driven by the learner, digging deeper, 
And you see, in the deep realm, it's always chaotic. It's always filled with problems. But if you are able to learn to the point where you can solve problems in the deep realm, then you will be tagged, you will be named a leader. Your trust level will rise. Uh, let me wrap up by reading this quote. When you learn deeper, when you make up your mind to learn and think, integrating it together, meditating on it, exposing yourself to deeper knowledge about a concept, Exposing yourself to deep honor. There was a time in the world where it was difficult to know the exact longitude of a sea of, of a ship on, on, on sea. But some guys, uh, 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 an English carpenter, sat down and thought about it and they moved from H1 to H4, continuously thinking and refining the instrument until they are able to get a fine, small lightweight instrument that can determine the exact location of a ship on the sea. And of course, better versions have been released ever since then with continuous thinking. And so if you do that, you will think better with increasing precision and then lead better. Transformational learning will drive agility in your system and increase trust in your leadership. The reason why decisions are made slowly in most cases is because of lack of clarity. Where there is clear understanding, depth of understanding, people travel faster and they generate deeper results. I want to thank you so much for listening to me. I am Dr. Joshua Kolaoli. I'm a global transformational leadership trainer and you can reach me via this, uh, this contact on the screen. Thanks.